Welcome to Electron Line. In this problem, we're trying to determine the rate of change of an angle. Which angle? The angle theta here, which currently is 30 degrees. We have a reference point down here, a second reference point up here, and a person walking to the right at 5 meters per second. The person is 5 meters away from this reference point and 10 meters in the vertical direction. The angle currently is 30 degrees. And we're trying to find, as the person is walking away at 5 meters per second, how fast is this angle changing as this line is keeping pace with the person. So as the person walks away, you can see that this angle is getting larger, and we're trying to find the rate of change of that angle. How do we do that? Well, we need to find the relationship between x, y, and the angle theta. And we can do that by using the tangent. The tangent of theta, by definition, is the ratio of the opposite side over the adjacent side. So in this case, from this reference point, that's the ratio of x over y. So if we have an equation that says the tangent of theta equals x over y, we could rewrite that as the sine over the cosine, sine of theta over the cosine of theta, and that is equal to x over y. And now we can take the derivative of both sides of the equation. We can take the ddt of the left side and set it equal to the ddt of the right side. Since it's a quotient, we take the denominator times the derivative of the numerator, which is the cosine of theta, times d theta dt minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, which is negative sine, times d theta dt, all divided by the denominator squared. And we set that equal to the derivative of the right side, which is the denominator, times the derivative of the numerator, minus the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator, all divided by the denominator squared. Now this looks worse than it is, because Realizing here we have the cosine square of theta, and this minus cancels out this minus, which is the sine square of theta, and so the cosine square plus the sine square equals 1 when we factor out the d theta dt. And so we can simplify this to d theta dt divided by the cosine square of theta is equal to y dx dt minus x dy dt all divided by y squared. And if we move the cosine square of theta to the right side, get rid of that here, we now have an expression that tells us d theta dt in terms of everything else that we know. We know the y and the x. Here's the x, there's the y. We know the rate of change in the x direction. And the rate of change in the y direction, well, that's equal to zero because the person is only walking x direction, there's no change in the y direction, so this goes to zero. And then we know the angle. We do it at the time that the angle is 30 degrees. So when we plug in the values, we get the following. This is equal to y, which is 10, times dx dt, which is 5, divided by y squared, which is 10 squared, which is 100. And we multiply that times the cosine square of 30 degrees. Now the cosine of 30 degrees is 0.866, let's see here, 30, take the cosine, if you square that, you get 0.75. So 0.75 times 50 divided by 100 equals, and since I'm out of room, I'll move over here, the d theta dt is equal to 0 0.375. And of course, the units would be radians per second. And so that is how fast the angle is changing at this moment if the person is walking at 5 meters per second and when the angle is 30 degrees. And that's how it's done.